Was there a time when you sent in a photo for an ad for a shoe company wearing a different pair of shoes, though? That might have happened. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? Who was it, who was it for? I think it was a circuit ad, and I think I might have been wearing Nikes or Vans. Or it could have been DBS and Nike and Vans. I don't know. It was forever ago, and I probably didn't get sent shoes, so it was just a sketch of like... <laughs> What's your favorite soap opera? <laughs> Ooh, out of the way. <laughs> yeah, no, I suppose it would have to be out of the way. So I heard you used to date like a famous soap opera star. Is that the truth? Home yeah, and yeah. Away. Yeah. What's that? Home and Away star. Yeah. yeah. It was big at the time in yeah. Australia because I was on the front cover of like a couple of women's magazines, like Women's Day, that go out to like hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> so it was like, I was like the first dude that was like in mainstream to be like, oh my God, he's on this, you know? Yeah. Skateboarding. But everyone now is like, star. okay, yeah, that's just, that's just cool, man. That's just what, you know. Yeah. Carbon's really famous in Australia. It's, if you go our, to Australia, this is the guy to go. Is he our most famous guest? Yeah. I mean, no. are you more I, famous than Chris Tony Cole? Hawk guy. Oh yeah, we had. Why? Yeah, we had Tony Hawk. Jeez, he he interviewed Tony Hawk too. I watched yeah, it today. Everyone Hawk. knows who Tony Hawk is. Whenever any skateboarder is like, I skateboard, they're like, Oh my god, you know Tony Hawk. So you're in our top you know, three. Know who he is. You're in our top three most famous guests. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it counts. I'm so excited to be sitting next to you. <laughs> you lived in the middle of nowhere. I heard. Kinda, yeah. Like, just a small country town away from the city. Where are you moving back to? A country town. Country town. <laughs> the same distance away from the city. Are you excited to go back home or is it yeah, kind sure. of like a... I'm I mean, excited to see my parents in the yeah. West Coast because I haven't been home. They haven't seen my little boy since he was like three months old, so it's been oh, a while. Right. Yeah, so it'll be good. I'm looking forward to being home for a little while anyway. You know what I just saw that was amazing? I watched your element part and there's a slam in there that's one of the best, there's a few worst slams, in slams I've ever seen. When you're coming down the bank yeah. into, into the wall. Into the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I, hit, I hit moss. Because I'd like, it uh -huh. just took me a while to do it. I don't know, it was just one of those days and it took me a while. Uh -huh to get the whole thing, like whole 50-50 on and then and then ollie off. And then as I'd come off, go down past yeah. the water and I was like, I've just landed it, I'm just yeah. going for it. Like, yeah, I was wrecked and then I just- Which was good down. anyway, because you ate shit and it was tight. It was a good slam. <laughs> hey, Andrew, what, you, were you in a fight when you rode for Circa? No, oh, I don't think I was in a fight. I was involved in a fight. Okay, so what, what happened with that? From the memory that the small part I had. I think it was like me, Windsor James, uh, Tony. <laughs> we went, we we're drinking like vodka, Reb, orange or rebel or some, something terrible. And then we went dancing and someone spat on someone. This is my memory, it could be very far-fetched. And then I went and sat on a couch because I was pretty boozy and had a little nap. And someone poured juice on me. So I woke up, went to walk outside, and there was just a shitstorm of fight. I got like cornered by some people and beat up real quick. Got maced when I was running out. <laughs> like, they were like canisters, like <laughs> mace going everywhere. So I was like this and had it all over my hands. It was fucked. And then went outside, and Adrian Lopez was just getting stomped on like by a bunch of dudes. So I like went in. Kind of got him and pulled him out, and then went and sat down. It was like Lee, Lee Doug. Yeah. And uh, my eye was bleeding, and he was like, "Who did it?" And I just pointed at these dudes, and Lee went and did what Lee does. And it's funny, the Lee gets called in. I, Lee just told me a story at Street Have you League. Seen the size of his, this part of his arm? No, I never noticed. It's like a cinder block attached to a hand. <laughs> but now you're filming for Four Star stuff, right? Yeah, Four Star and Cliche. So how far along are you? In the Cliche video? Yeah. It comes out in February, so we've got like, for the rest of the year, there's like five trips. Are you happy with what you have so far? I'm super stoked. Okay, good. I hear Lucas is killing it right now. Lucas Puke? He's just a really talented skateboarder, <laughs> has been since he was a little kid, man. But he is, I just, anyone that sees him skate. He's just one of those guys thing. where it's like, I'll watch anything. And you know he's not like training his skateboard, like he'll be skateboarding and drinking Heineken and natural. having a good time and, and just blowing people's minds. Like it's really something special. With so him. he's got a part in the new cliche? Like he's Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna hurt some people's feelings. <laughs> you know, it just dawned on me that you're kind of unique in the skateboarding world in the sense that you have these you're a professional skater but you have these jobs where you're sort of mi mingling in other action sports and like on television. Do you find that people are in skateboarding are supportive of that? Or like, have you ever gotten shit from anyone for like 
not being like legit. Or I think at the start that it. it was a, it was definitely there was definitely people saying different, sure, different yeah. things for sure. But yeah, you've persevered. They, they only well at the time there were only a few other shows on television. You know, mm-hmm. if you're going to get interviewed by someone, though, you'd rather get interviewed by you than some other dickhead. Yeah, and that's what they re- that's what I think people yeah. like, realize like, oh just saying. Yeah. You don't dickhead. At least Thanks, you're scared. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been told that you used to wear those like high top um, wrestling Adidas like Oh shit. I-, I tell you right now, I used to wear some whacked out shit. Did you hear the pump it around was a different- in <laughs> terrible gear? <laughs> this like, is this you know. is toned down. I think we're all guilty of that. Because I've seen the red pants. You're very fancy with your red pants. Oh, yeah, you're ready, pant, ready trap. I'll wear, I'll wear like one color from head to toe, and I've got no problem with it. Yeah, all white, all red. You did all, all white the other day. All green. All green. Really? Yeah. Wow, I've never seen all green. You played rugby, right? I played rugby league for 10 years and then rugby union f- uh, for seven. Is there a certain sort of toughness you develop from rugby that carries over into skateboarding or a fearlessness? Fuck it attitude, probably. Yeah. Ability to take it's a so much co- contact, you know? Yeah. In sport. So when you fall over it, you know, kind of used to, I suppose. I suppose it helps for sure. I'm always surrounded by such like manly guys on this show, like, shooting kangaroos and playing rugby and building cars. What do you do? I'm just like a wuss. Yeah, I drink tea and I He's like drinking I'm, some. I write. Good I can't even open this bottle right yeah, you now. You can't. You gotta use your t-shirt. And don't write. No, go ahead. <laughs> Try it. Oh use your t-shirt. Andrew, will you please open the bottle for him? I would way rather that happen. <laughs> it's, I open the first one and then this one won't open. Oh, there you go. Need a bit of grip. Makes it easier. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I'm so you a, like Coopers? This is great beer. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Never had it before and I'm glad you've you can introduced me. Buy it in Australia cheaper than you can. I bu- buy it cheaper in America. Oh, really? Australia, How is that? Which makes no sense because they fucking put it on a boat, ship it to San Francisco, <laughs> drive it to LA, and it's cheaper than it is in Australia. Which wow. is, thanks, Australia, for making us pay extortion for our beer. Corbin, um, I know that you're sick and everything, but. It's disgusting. We've been, we've been told that you can't shotgun a beer. Uh huh. Are you one of those people? No, I did one. Did you? There's a YouTube clip one, I think. Corbin, the surprise I was telling you about, we actually brought you some cans so that you uh, could. Please just shotgun one. Please. I'll do it with you. See? You got a buddy. Yeah, all right. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. <laughs> Don't throw up on me. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You know. Hey, I'm actually going to suck with that. <laughs> <laughs> we had a question coming from Facebook. How does it feel to tray flip a picnic table? Fuck, it felt fantastic. When how, I did it. how long did that take you? Uh, I think it was, no, it was probably like, it was actually quite quick that time. It was probably like 15 or 20 goes or something. Guy Mariano was like, was sitting at the skate park and he's like, I'm pretty sure the only person that can do it is Chris Cole. And I was like, fuck. I was like, Cole could probably do it because he's not here. I was like, shit, I'm pretty sure I could do it. Uh-huh. And guy's like, nah. I don't know if he was doing it just to like pull my chain. I was like, I think fuck he was. you. <laughs> I had to do it twice. The first one I did was super sketchy. You landed two? I did one and like, didn't think I was gonna land and like slid out all weird. And I was like, fuck, it wasn't that hard. So I, I did another one somehow. Andrew, Facebook wants to know, what's your favorite spot in London and how did you get on Flame City Skates? Favorite spot would be South Bank because when, was it when you first came there? It was still all open. South Bank was still like, yeah. It still had, it was, at that time when I first moved there, there was nothing in it. It was just like the seven stair, the banks, and then the driveway and the little banks at the back. But no one probably remembers that, like how deep South Bank used to go. Like it was huge and super good. And the ground was like marble blocks. So it was like skating Mac or something. So you can tell about Slam City Skates now. And then, I don't know, I think I was just like a mad lurker all the time, like, you know, like, (laughs) Can I get some grip, Dave? Can I have a set of wheels? My bearings are fucked. Yeah. You, hung, and then I just, yeah. you hung around long enough. Yeah. I was just like a bad smell, and they're like, Jesus Christ, get him out of my store. Like, get out. Give him things and let him. Whatever he wants. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us Thanks and bringing us Coopers. Thanks for, be- for being our first exclusive Australian episode. Thanks for having us. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs>